Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching. My name is Rich Tarani. I am here at Interop New York 2010 with Eric Norup, who's the president of Navitech. Hello, Eric. Hello. Nice to be here. So um, you were on the program in the spring, and now you're here again in the fall. And welcome back. It's a pleasure being here. Interop is one of our anchor shows. We like going both in the Vegas show and the New York show. We always have good traction and see a lot of our existing customers who also meet new ones. And you know, that actually gets me to my first uh, question, and that is, let's talk a little bit about who you sell to and what your company does. We're uh, not the traditional uh, Interop uh, exhibitor. We're an OEM company, so we sell to people that build solutions using our products. Um, so we're here um, meeting with new customers, maybe customers that have a, a booth on the show. Um, take them to our booth, show them what we're able to do and what advantages our um, products have. So for us, the New York show is a good show to be on. It has a flavor towards network management, which appeals to us. That's good. That's really good to hear. Uh, you were telling me that speed is becoming a bigger and bigger issue in networks. Let's discuss that a little bit. Yeah, we, we're seeing a major uptick in, in 10 gigabit um, equipment and on our side. Uh, roughly half of our sales are now 10 gigabit, which is a, a very big share. Um, so it also tells us that we're on the high end of the equipment. It also tells us that our customers are the ones that are struggling to get up in speed, and that's why they come to us. So I guess in the old days you were able to do a lot in software on one gigabit, but when you want to go to 10 gigabit or 20 gig or higher, you need help, and that's what we provide. So um, in terms of what you do for your customers, you reduce time to market, I would imagine, right? So they're able to integrate with your products and they get their products out to market more quickly? Yeah, I guess our main uh, advantage is, or our main competition is homegrown solutions. What we're really trying to put across to people is that take a standard server, take one of our advanced intelligent adapter cards, and you're able to build solutions that are faster and cheaper than homegrown hardware. And that takes you faster to market. Right, absolutely. And so you also don't have the development costs that you would normally have to deal with all those issues yourself, right? If you outsource to a company like yours. Absolutely. I mean, you, you, get, you, you save a lot of uh, cost on, on building your own hardware. Uh, and then you can reallocate your resources and concentrate on features and GUIs and the dashboard, the presentation of their product. And that's really what our customers are selling. So they reallocate the customers from the inner parts of the solution into the outer skin, so to speak. So that gives them tremendous value. So you're, you told me a little bit earlier, business is good, right? Even though the economy is uh, in, in kind of a slowdown over the last couple of years, we, you're doing well, right? We're doing well. We haven't seen a glitch at all, either not last year, not this year either. So uh, the insatiable need for bandwidth video, I mean, we know, I think the story now is out that you know, the, the need for more speed has not slowed down. It will continue. So that, that puts you in a good position. What I'm wondering is that from your position in the ecosystem, what other things are you seeing? What other trends are there that uh, people would want to know about? Well, um, in the network as such, the speed are increasing because of bandwidth needs. But the, this, on top of that comes these very advanced applications like video and voice for which the, in, the internet wasn't constructed. So everybody's trying to go through hoops and loops and trying to make things work. And that's where when things go wrong, you need advanced an, uh, analytics. And that's what our customers provide. So that's one part of it. In the data uh, centers with thousands of servers, there's a lot of uh, virtualization happening where servers are converged. And when you put more applications on a server, you need a bigger pipe in and out of a server, which then again makes the data centers go to higher speeds. Right. Again, that's where we see the 10 gig sales. Now, I should make sure to just touch on this or at least ask about it. What you're doing that's different than traditional uh, architectures is you have your own your own products, right? You're not using necessarily an off-the-shelf network processor, but what are you using? We're using uh, the biggest FPGAs, the fastest FPGAs you can get in the market. We have our own IPR loaded into those that enables you to go in and analyze packets on the network, categorize them, serve them to the host CPU in, in buffers, pre preparing your software to do number crunching much, much faster than you otherwise could do. So it's an FPGA-based accelerator card. So this in theory, is something that could be used by one of your customers 
to help a carrier with their 4G solutions where they've got a ton of uh, content and they maybe are trying to throttle some of it or try to figure out what's inside that content so they can prioritize it. Exactly, that's one of the uses. It has a widespread around, uh, uh, amount of uses. It could be a mobile analysis, as you said. It could also be a latency measurement in the financial sector. It could be a, a more um, lawful intercept type where you want to save certain types of traffic. Or it could be data capture, record everything on the network. Right. So you afterwards can trace backwards and, and, and do an analytics Without on Without slowing it. things down. Without slowing things down. It all happens in real time. That's great. Well, thanks for being on the program and good luck. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Eric, is that everything you want?